Howdy folks, John here from rchelicopterfund.com. Got a real mindless little project in the workshop today. I'm sure a lot of you have seen those parody stickers for Snap-on, you know, there's Crap-on, Snap-off, but the funniest one I've ever seen is the Strap-on one. And where the wrench is, there's a little dingus instead. Yeah, small things amuse small minds. But ever since I saw that, I thought I gotta get some of those stickers for myself and a few of my buddies so we can put them on our toolboxes. Then I thought, let's just print something like that. So if you too have wanted a strap on for your box, stick around. We're going to have a quick little fun video today for it. And I'll have the STL file down below in the description. You can download it for free if you want to print one out yourself or have a buddy print it out. First thing I want to do is get the dimensions on this one. So the printed one is the exact same size more or less. So this is 200 millimeters long. It's 38 millimeters high and it's 5 millimeters deep. Now that we've got the dimensions, let's roll the process. I'm still fairly new to 3D printing, so this is always an adventure. Wow, that didn't come out half bad. Not too bad at all. I think that'll make a good gift. Print a few of these up. Let's, uh, let's mount the strap on. Okay, so I've just got a little bit of RTV sealant on the back of the old strap on badge here. And just, you could use double sided tape. What I like about RTV is if, uh, if anyone wasn't too fond of your little gag here, you can get in behind it with some fishing line or dental floss to get it off without wrecking it. Is that centered? Not even close. So I'm probably going to have to get some masking tape here to just hold it while the glue sets up. Still looks off. Probably should have put a little template and marked some lines on there. Oh no, it's just looks off in the camera when I'm looking at it straight on. It looks okay. So fun little gag novelty uh, parody 
on Snap-on. And I think it'll make some cool little, cool little gift for a couple of guys I know. And like I said, the STL file is down below in the description. You can download it for free if you want to print your own. And this, I did measure it, and it matches the original one pretty much bang on. So the size is pretty much perfect. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you next time.